Barbershop is a 2002 American comedy film directed by Tim's Story and written by Mark Brown, Don Scott, and Marshall Todd. The production was overseen by George Tillman, Robert Teedle, and Brown, who also penned the script. The star-studded cast includes Ice Cube, Anthony Anderson, Sean Patrick Thomas, Eve, Tori Garrity, and numerous others. Set against the backdrop of the social life in a barbershop on the south side of Chicago, it marked the inaugural installment in the Barbershop series. Receiving acclaim from critics, the film was lauded for the outstanding performances of the cast. With significant commercial success, Barbershop paved the way for two more film releases. Beyond the cinematic journey, this video will pay tribute to some of the cast members who have left us in real life. Join us on our channel for more content, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for engaging updates. Sonia Eddy Sonia Eddy played the role of Janelle in the 2002 film Barbershop. Sonia Eddy portrayed the character Janelle in the 2002 film Barbershop and was widely recognized for her role as Epiphany Johnson in the American ABC soap opera General Hospital from 2006 to 2022. Her outstanding performance in General Hospital earned her a posthumous Daytime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 2023. Born on June 17, 1967, in Concord, California, Eddie pursued a major in theater and dance at the University of California, Davis, earning her B.A. in 1992. Describing herself as a lifelong Democrat and practicing Catholic, Eddie chose to remain single and childless, finding contentment in her chosen lifestyle. She made her acting debut in 1990 in the West Coast premiere of Ruby Dee's play Zora Is My Name and went on to accumulate stage credits in productions like The Comedy of Errors, Into the Woods, and South Pacific. Relocating to Los Angeles in 1995, she ventured into sitcoms such as Married, With Children, The Drew Carey Show, and Seinfeld. Eddie made her big screen debut in the 1996 comedy film High School High. In the following years, Eddie took on various nurse roles in films like Sour Grapes, 1998, Patch Adams, 1998, Inspector Gadget, 1999, and Seven Pounds, 2008, showcasing her versatility in both comedic and dramatic roles. She continued to contribute to films such as Nutty Professor 2. The Clumps, Barbershop, Daddy Day Care, Surviving Christmas, and Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Eddie's career extended to television, where she had a recurring role on Joan of Arcadia from 2004 to 2005 and portrayed Epiphany Johnson on General Hospital from 2006 until October 20th, 2022. She received a Daytime Emmy Award nomination in 2023 for her exceptional work on the soap opera. Eddie's diverse career also included guest-starring roles in popular shows like Reba, Monk, House, and Desperate Housewives. She played Ramona in the FX sitcom Legit from 2013 to 2014 and portrayed Tammy in the true TV comedy series Those Who Can't from 2016 to 2019. Additionally, Eddie had recurring roles in Fresh Off the Boat, Black Jesus, and the miniseries The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. Her final screen appearance was in the 2023 musical comedy film Dix, the Musical. Sonia Eddy passed away on December 19, 2022, at the age of 55, succumbing to an infection after non-emergency surgery. Carl Wright Carl Wright, a cast member of the film Barbershop, has sadly passed away. In the movie, Wright portrayed the character Checkers Fred, infusing his role with captivating acting and comedic skills. Born on May 4, 1943, in Griffin, Georgia, Wright made significant contributions to the entertainment industry, leaving an enduring legacy in both television and film. His early years were dedicated to refining his craft in theater productions, showcasing his skills in live performances, transitioning to on-screen work, Wright's talent and versatility shone through as he adeptly portrayed a diverse array of characters. Wright's filmography boasts memorable roles in popular TV shows and movies. 
he graced iconic series like The Cosby Show, Good Times, The Jeffersons, and Martin, bringing a distinct charm and authenticity to each performance. His notable contributions to the big screen include appearances in films such as Barbershop, Barbershop 2, Back in Business, and Barbershop, The Next Cut. His performances reflected a profound understanding of character, earning him admiration from both peers and audiences. Beyond his acting achievements, Wright's impact extended to the entertainment community, serving as an inspiration for aspiring actors. His life and career demonstrated that talent, hard work, and dedication could lead to a fulfilling and enduring artistic journey. While his on-screen presence marked the cultural landscape, his positive influence on those around him further solidified his legacy. The passing of Carl Wright on May 19, 2020, marked the conclusion of a prolific career, leaving behind a body of work celebrated by fans and peers alike. His unwavering commitment to his craft, ability to connect with audiences, and enduring influence established Carl Wright as a respected figure in the entertainment realm, forever remembered for his significant contributions to the art of storytelling. Norm Van Leer Van Leer, another member of the film Barbershop cast, has sadly passed away. Best known as Sam, one of the regular patrons at the barbershop, he was recognized by fans for his brief but memorable role. Norman Van Leyer's life began in East Liverpool, Ohio, born to Helen and Norm Sr., a dedicated steel mill worker for 31 years. Growing up in Midland, Pennsylvania, alongside three brothers and a sister, Van Leer had three other brothers who, unfortunately, passed away after birth. One of them, Elgin Baylor Van Leer Y., was named in their honor. Van Leer fondly reminisced about his childhood, playing tackle football with a taped coffee can as a ball, an experience that would later shape his renowned work ethic. A pivotal chapter unfolded during Van Leer's time with the 1965 Midland High School Leopards, celebrated as one of the greatest high school basketball teams, securing the Pennsylvania State Championship with an undefeated record. Transitioning to St. Francis University of Pennsylvania, he excelled as a point guard, graduating in 1969. The Chicago Bulls selected Van Leer in the third round of the 1969 NBA draft, later trading him to the Cincinnati Royals. There, he led the NBA in assists in 1971. On January 5th of that year, Van Leer made history by becoming the first player in NBA history to achieve a scoreless double-double with zero points, 13 assists, and 11 rebounds in a victory against the Los Angeles Lakers. A scoreless double-double did not occur again for another 50 years until December 26, 2021, when rookie Josh Giddy of the Oklahoma City Thunder, accomplished it. The Bulls reacquired Van Leyer during the 1971-72 season, and he remained with the team until 1978, earning three all-star appearances and numerous defensive accolades. Nicknamed Stormin' Norman for his tenacity and aggression, Van Leer was one of the most popular Bulls players of the 1970s. Throughout his 10-year career, he earned three NBA All-Defense first-team selections and five NBA All-Defense second-team selections. Despite these achievements, he, alongside Michael Cooper, holds the record for the most selections without being inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. In 1978, Van Leer was waived by the Bulls. On January 19, 1977, Van Leer broke the record for the longest successful field goal in NBA history at 84 feet. The record stood for 24 years until Baron Davis surpassed it on November 17, 2001, from a distance of 89 feet. After a brief stint with the Milwaukee Bucks, Van Leer retired in 1979, leaving behind impressive career totals of 8,770 points and 5,217 assists. Beyond the court, Van Leer made significant contributions to coaching and broadcasting. 
He served as an assistant coach for the Worcester Counts in the World Basketball League and led the Worcester Vocational Technical High School team, reaching the Massachusetts Division II championship game in the 1989-90 season. Van Leer also worked as a color analyst on Bulls radio broadcasts from 1980 to 1982 and as a television pregame and postgame analyst for Chicago Bulls games from 1992 to 2009. His presence extended to other Chicago television programs, and at one point, he co-hosted a sports talk radio show. Van Leer's diverse talents included serving as a special disc jockey on the Chicago rock music station 97.9 Well Up. Additionally, he had supporting roles in the movies Barbershop and Barbershop 2, back in business in 2002 and 2004, respectively. On June 21, 2008, Van Leer was rightfully inducted into the WPIL Hall of Fame. Reflecting on his legacy, he emphasized the golden era of basketball in Western Pennsylvania, stating, Western Pennsylvania is football country, but my years are considered the golden era of basketball not only in the state, but maybe the country. Unfortunately, on February 26, 2009, Norm Van Leer passed away at the age of 61, marking the end of an era and leaving behind a legacy cherished by basketball enthusiasts, broadcasters, and fans alike. Cliff Frazier Cliff Frazier, a member of the ensemble in the comedic movie Barbershop, has sadly passed away. Frazier made appearances on the show portraying the character Kwame, a guest cast customer. Clifford Henry Frazier, hailing from St. Louis, Missouri, was both an American football player and actor. In his football career, he served as a defensive tackle for the Kansas City Chiefs, starting in 12 of the 14 games for the team in 1977. Frazier played college football for the UCLA Bruins, contributing to their 1976 Rose Bowl Game Championship team. Following his senior year, he earned a spot in the college all-star game. Frazier secured the 41st pick in the second round of the 1976 NFL Draft by the Chiefs. Before the 1976 season, he was traded to the Philadelphia Eagles in exchange for two future draft picks. The Eagles later traded him to the Los Angeles Rams, but unfortunately, he was cut by the Rams after the season. Returning to the Chiefs before the 1977 season, Frazier, after a single season, made the decision to retire from professional football. Post his football career, Frazier ventured into acting landing roles in various films such as North Dallas 40, Vice Squad, and House Party. He notably portrayed the character Jethro Snell in 79 out of 80 episodes of HBO's football comedy First and Tens between 1984 and 1991. In conclusion, I want to express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you who has joined me on this incredible journey. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. As we wrap up today's video, remember that this channel is a community, a place for learning, sharing, and connecting. Your comments, likes, and subscriptions drive the energy of this space. I'm committed to bringing you more content that inspires, informs, and entertains. Let's continue growing together, exploring new horizons, and fostering a positive and inclusive community. Thank you for being a part of this adventure, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care, stay curious, and keep chasing your dreams.